It's very important as a pediatric gastroenterologist to monitor growth properly. It's a dynamic marker of the health status of a child. And in Crohn's disease, if a child is not growing well, then that alerts us that there's possibly still active inflammation, even if they're not having intestinal symptoms. Children with Crohn's disease may present with isolated growth failure and not have any intestinal symptoms. Aside from the medical reasons, it can also have psychosocial implications for the children. If they're experiencing challenges in school, then we as a team have to work with the families and the teachers um, to make it better. What we found um, in earlier studies is that females with pediatric Crohn's disease appear to have an overall more severe course of disease but boys have more growth impairment. And that doesn't make sense because we would expect more severe disease to lead to more growth impairment. So I was fortunate um, to receive funding from the NIH to launch a multi-center study to examine the sex difference in risk for growth impairment. There's so much that we don't know yet, but what we want is for children to reach their genetic potential. I recommend at every visit, ask your provider how is my child growing? How is my child's height velocity? How is my child's weight? It's important to ask a lot of questions um, so that you feel comfortable with knowing what's going on with your child and so that your child feels comfortable. And this is why we have a multidisciplinary team um, to work with them to um, deal with with any issues that they're either having at school or at, or at home. The CADC is um, a team of physicians with very different backgrounds. You have pediatric gastroenterologists, adult gastroenterologists, pediatric and adult surgeons, oncologists, just a wide variety of, of providers and nurses and social workers and nutritionists. And it's just a, a team of extremely dedicated people that have the same goal in mind. The ultimate goal always goes back to caring for our patients now and doing our best to improve care for patients in the future.